Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another memory plan with me. I always say plan with me, but I feel like I should say memory plan with me. Um, this week is the first week of February and I am using the boudoir, boudoir, I never know how to say that word, boudoir, boudoir <laughs> kit from Hello Petite Paper, and I am obsessed with how it turned out. I think this is a contender for me for like one of my favorite 2021 um, spreads so far. It is, it is so beautiful. I just felt like it, I used it for the first week of February and it felt like Valentine's Day, but it also felt wintry and floral and soft and pretty and felt like the colors went really well with my um, rose quartz or a silk cloud. I just, I love how it turned out. I don't know if I was able to catch it, um, you know, with the photography, with the video as well as I could have, but, uh, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, I feel that way a lot, but anyways, get, trust me on this one. I, I really liked it. Um, I'm showing you that I picked up a bunch of different kits for this from the Hello Petite paper or from Hello Petite paper. Um, this is the Hobonichi kit you're looking at right now, but I also picked up the full size kit, the mini kit, the Hobonichi kit, and two of the added deco sheets. Um, so quite a bit. Um, the reason that I did that is because well, first of all, if, if shops I love release kits, I love like this one. Um, and there are multiple like different add-ons that you can get of the same kit. I, I am the person who will buy all of them <laughs> because I love having, um, I love having options. So I love being able to like not, so you know, that feeling when you're using a kit that's really small and you kind of feel like, um, either you used up all of the good stickers for the first half of the week and then the second half of the week comes and you feel like you have nothing left and your the colors aren't the color that you want to pull in. You only have like a pink half box left, but really with everything else that's going on in that area, you want a purple half box or whatever. Like I don't like that feeling. And I also don't like then feeling like I'm trying to hoard the good stickers for the second half and then I don't use them at opportune moments. I don't know. Do you experience this? Let me know. <laughs> um, that's how my brain works though. Um, so anyway, so with kits like this, I am so happy to pick up all the add-ons and extras and everything. So that way I feel like I have so much to work with and that I can make the spread look exactly how I want to look. One thing that's consistent for me across the board, I feel, is some of my favorite spreads almost always either come with like from kits, um, shops who have kits format, kit formats that are just perfect for me or shops that have... Um, like a lot where I can purchase a lot and I have a ton of stickers and I can use exactly what I need from each sheet whenever I want to. Um, anyways, that's just me. Let me know how you feel. Um, so, so far I have put down the base in all of those freaking sticker sheets that I had. <laughs> I still, she still doesn't have date covers in her in her kit format anywhere. And I can't remember the last time, I think probably the last time I used a Hello Petite paper kit was the last time I didn't have date covers. I have like the most detailed organization ever of all my stickers. And I still, it took me like 15 minutes to track down some date covers. <laughs> like I just don't even buy them anymore. Um, but I did find some, those are from Sweet Bella XOXO. I totally recommend them. They're a pink shade that um, seems to be like you could pull it into a warm or cool pink tone spread and it would work. So big fan of the color on those. Um, I also use the date dots from Sweet Bella XOXO. I believe the script in the upper left hand corner is from um, the Glitter Mama. In the sidebar, most of those stickers are from the kit. Um, the, the little lace sticker that I put down, I used that a few times throughout the spread. It was from um, Sadie stickers and then the deco. I really liked the deco scene that I put down at the bottom. I thought that was really cute and I added some dots in from Sadie stickers, which I think I used a lot throughout this spread. Just in general, I really like those. That was from her latest $2 Tuesday. Um, okay, so moving on to the day by day here. I love what I did up here. <laughs> so I, I feel like I keep be like, oh my god, I love what I did. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I do. I loved it. I thought it was super cute. Um, I used a um, circle from a scallop circle from, I think that's from crafts by Towie. And I cut one of the deco pieces in half the florals and kind of layered it on either side. The hello February script is from Alyssa's craft shop. Those are new to me and I really like them. Um, and then the bow is from the pretty pink co. I have a coupon code for her. It's Lauren 15. You can find all my coupon codes down below as well as the 
um, the little swish is from the Bloom Paper Studio. Again, code Lauren15 for that. And I also have a freebie. You can put my name in the notes for that. Um, okay, moving downward, I marked all of my meetings the same way this week, which is um, those little boxes uh, that uh, we are not, can't see it right now, but <laughs> that I used to mark the meeting are from the Hobonichi kit. And they're the reason that I purchased the Hobonichi kit, really. Those boxes, as well as the washi that I cut up and use in the sidebar, um, I really like them because they don't take up the full width of a the column. I feel like a lot of shops are finally coming out with stuff like that. And I feel like I'm like, thank goodness. That's one of those things where I'm like, if I put it out into the universe, hopefully it'll happen. And it did. And I feel... <laughs> So pleased. Um, anyways, so I marked that and then I marked it with a um, Hello Petite paper laptop, not from the kit. Plan with me, I marked that with a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, just a planner from the kit. And then I also marked that I had an ear appointment this day with a White Deer stationery um, sticker, as well as some deco cut up from the kit and a My Spoiled Planner um, bow. Really like those bows. Again, I have a code for her too, Lauren15. And I also marked that we did some home tours this on Monday with um, the uh, Harriet Wright Designs icon layered over a box from the kit. So this day was, I think, the first time that we went to actually see homes that were not um, that were not like condos or townhomes, standalone homes. And the first home we saw was a total flip. And I was like, no, Stephen and I, we're all on the same page. It was just such, so obviously a flip. But the second home that we saw was the most beautiful home ever. It was it, like well within our price range and like just gorgeously renovated. And this is where we like, uh, this is where we found out for the first time how freaking crazy the real estate market is right now, especially in the Bay Area. It was insane. So on Tuesday, I marked we had a call with our real estate agent. I drafted our cover letter for putting an offer in because we knew we were going to put an offer in. It was literally the second home that we saw with a real estate agent. Um, and I was like, when I sent it to him, I was like, this is the home. Like, how are we going to buy this house? Like, what do we need to do? <laughs> um, oh, by the way, I also cut up some, uh, I'll keep talking about it, but I also cut up some deco sheets and um, cut up some full boxes to get the deco. And I laid that at the bottom and top, bottom of the day on Tuesday, top of the day on Wednesday. I thought that looked really cute and layered the um, Sadie stickers lace over top. I thought that was really cute to take up some time there um, because this day, Tuesday night was insane. We were up so late trying to figure out like, all of the just financial stuff because the offers were due the on Wednesday. We saw the house on Monday offers were due on Wednesday. So Steve and I were up until like two in the morning trying to figure out just fi the financials of what we wanted to do. I drafted the cover letter, everything. I had five meetings on Wednesday, which was so difficult. And we also had to make the offer that day. Just insane. It was really insane. So we made the offer. Um, I marked that with an Alyssa's craft shop. Um, little kind of I don't know fancy box sticker and then some deco and stuff from the kit and then um I marked also I had to work until 2 a.m because <laughs> so much of the house stuff was taking up time during Monday and Tuesday so I was to make sure I wasn't behind at work I stayed up till 2 a.m working that day and um I also we also found out that day I think literally we made the offer in the morning like maybe I don't know sometime between 12 and noon that day that night we, um, not even that night, that evening, we found out that we lost the bid that fast. And we were, it was just insane. We, we put in, I think like 15% over asking and the, the offer that won was I think like 25 or 30% over asking. And they, it was all cash. Like it was just insanity. We found out there was 30 offers that came in on that house and that's when we really realized, okay, this is no joke. This, like, we've been hearing about this real estate market, blah, blah, blah. This is no joke. 30 offers on one house. And they had, I think, opened the house up on Saturday. And it got that on by Wednesday. So that's kind of, I feel like for me, that's like when the games began. <laughs> and you're going to see me talk about house tours and more on and on for the next couple uh, I don't know how long it's now a month later and we still haven't bought a, a month and a half later and still kind of doing this. So, oh boy. Um, if you 
have any, I'd love to talk, I'd love to hear from you because this is what I'm thinking about all the time right now. If you have experience with home buying, leave it down below. Um, if you're buying a house right now, especially, let me know what your experience is and what, what part of the nation that you're in, because I would really love to hear that. Like if, cause I know it's crazy where I am in the Bay area and I know that it's kind of crazy all over, but I've heard it specifically crazier in the Bay area. I don't know. Um, if you bought a house 20 years ago, tell me what that was like. <laughs> um, I'm just real. That's like what I'm thinking about all the time right now. Anyways. Okay. On to Thursday. Um, not too much exciting stuff there. Most of the stickers I used were from Hello Petite Paper. I did a little deco thing down at the bottom that was super cute with some honey inked snowflakes. I marked that I made that TikTok pasta that day. Um, the one with the feta cheese and the tomato. It was all right. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I get why it's so famous because it's so easy and it looks fancy, but I think you have to do a lot of doctoring up. Otherwise it literally does just kind of taste like tomatoes and feta. <laughs> um, and then what else? Oh, Steven went and did the grocery shopping for me. I think he felt bad for me because I had kept staying up till 2 a.m. multiple days in a row with work and all that. So that was sweet. Um, but yeah, most of those stickers are from Hello Petite Paper. Okay, moving on to Friday, I marked, I had one call for work, I marked payday, and then I also marked that the cleaners came that day. Um, I cut up this piece of deco, I thought that was really cute, and layered a Crafts by Towie, um, little swish over top, what do you call that? I, the word is escaping me. Uh, what is it called? I don't know, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and then I did some more of the Sadie stickers kind of deco around it. On Friday night, Stephen and I did a date night, which was really fun. We went um, back to one of our favorite breweries. It's kind of far away from us now. It's a lot closer to our old apartment, but we went out there and they have done such a good job of like adjusting to the current situation. They've like built out this super cute kind of covered outdoor bar patio outside. So everything's outside and really safe and spaced out. But they put a bunch of string lights up. It, I don't know. Super cute. So that was really enjoyable. We've gone a couple times during the past year, like two or three times maybe. And at first it was all crowded into one, the like existing patio that they had, but they've made some adjustments and did that. So that was really fun. That place has great beer. So we drank a lot of beer and then they also serve like noodles and like, I don't know, kind of Asian fusion, like appetizer -y kind of food, lots of like noodles and like wontons and stuff really good with beer like spicy I don't know delicious we also watched the greatest showman that night I had never seen it before and I really enjoyed it I used a, a crafts by Towie scallop to mark that layered over some washi with the kit um oh I also used for oh I miss these for when I marked our date night where we went to the brewery I used a planning world um beer mug I don't think she has those anymore but I love them I thought they were so cute so running low on those. Um, okay. So on to Saturday, we, I marked sleeping in with a cute little, um, poof thing from the kit. And I put another one of those my spoiled planner bows on top of the poof. I thought that was so cute because the like jar already had one. I marked editing and doing a voiceover that day. That, uh, play button is from the pretty pink co. And then I marked more home tours, kind of kept at it. <laughs> um, with, I think I've already talked about all of those stickers. I also marked FaceTiming my parents. They've been obviously um, wanting to hear about kind of the home buying process for us every step of the way. And then um, I marked getting takeout that night um, with Steven. We got Gots, which is so good. If, if you're ever, I think they're mostly in California, but if you're ever in the Bay Area, Napa, San Francisco, there's one in the Embarcadero, delicious. If you're looking for like a good quick burger. Um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I think, you know what? We saw another house on this Friday that we really wanted, I believe. <laughs> I think it's another one we put an offer in and spoiler alert, we did not get, but <laughs> anyways. Okay. So moving on to Sunday, we marked, um, I'm marking the Super Bowl here. I thought this was really cute. I used the bottom half of the deco piece that I had cut from Friday, um, to kind of layer underneath the, um, the scallop and then also use that uh helmet and football from crafts by Towie. um and it kind of just 
I don't know, I thought it made it look really cohesive and I liked how the flowers kind of peeked out from under all of that. And it looks like it's a sticker scrap. Like if you had it, it looks like a super thin sticker scrap, but when you layer it under something like that, I thought it looked really cute. Um, so Super Bowl Sunday was really fun. I'm not a Super Bowl per I'm not a football person. Like I could, I don't, I, if football disappeared forever, I like, I, I don't care, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know. It's not my thing, but I do enjoy like, I mean, for this Super Bowl, we were literally just with Steven's parents. In the past, I've enjoyed going to Super Bowl parties and hanging out, drinking, having good food, all that. But um, so that part's always fun to me. The football part, I don't really care. Um, so while we were there, since it was just, you know, Steven's parents and I, and they all love football, I, um, well, I filmed in the morning and then I was able to kind of edit while they were watching. I was sitting with everybody talking. Of course, I wasn't being rude. It, if it was a real party, I wouldn't have done that, but we were just hanging out there all day. Um, and so, yeah, I was able to do that. I marked having a party, quote unquote, at their house, even though it was just the four of us. I layered some balloons from White Deer Stationery and the sparkles are from My Spoiled Planner. The bow is from Honey Inked to mark that. Steven's mom went all, well, actually both of his parents went all out and they did like full, a million, like Super Bowl party kind of appetizers and food. It was so good. We ate so much. I had so much fun. So delicious. Just, they, they fully went all out just for the four of us, which was really sweet. And then I marked that, um, I just did some deco down there at the bottom. Again, cutting some stuff up using some Honey Inked um deco and then right here I marked I think I posted the plane with me actually in the morning on Sunday um although I'm marking it at the end of the day but I, I posted one in the morning and then was editing a different one during the day so that is the whole spread again um really hope you enjoyed it it's one of my absolute favorite ones that I've done so far this year so I hope you like it as well um I am showing you all of the leftovers it looks like a lot because it is but what I'm about to show you is that I'm going to put this all in a leftover sticker kit um so or sorry I have a leftover sticker book that I put all of my kit leftovers in and then I'm going to give this away to somebody at the end of the year there are some kits where they're small kits and I used out a lot of stuff and there's going to be very little to work with and then there's some kits like this where you will 100% be able to do a full spread with this kit like you'll have everything you need to do a full spread with this kit it has everything you need and more there's like three sets of no, four sets of checklists, a full set of half boxes, quarter boxes, little things, full set of headers. Um, you might need some washi, I guess. You could use some Simply Gilded washi. I'm so sorry. My computer's, um, my computer just got really loud. It's really hot. It gets really hot when I do voiceovers. But anyways, this is at 20 times the speed <laughs> of what it would have been. Uh, how, so it took me forever to put these all in here, but it is kind of therapeutic. I do enjoy it. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for the week. Um, I'm going to show you just in a second here, all of the, um, the spread one more time, which again, I really do hope that you enjoy. I had so much fun filming it and I always have so much fun and appreciate that there's people out there that enjoy this hobby with me and engage with me on this platform, um, as I'm sharing it. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, so if you do want to leave me a comment, I would love to hear about your home buying experience if you've done it in the past or if it's something you're looking forward to do in the future. Please, please let me know. If you have any questions, of course, about the spread, um, always feel free to ask. I do tag all the shops on Instagram. And again, I have all my coupon codes below. Um, so you can always look there for those things. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Stay safe and well. Bye.